Krim here with my very first art tutorial sort of video. Now, this is mostly about concept art. I'll have follow-up videos revolving around the concept that I've made here. The first step I do is I lay out what I want to draw. Next step, I go ahead and start drawing the silhouettes. Now, this will fall into the three heavy category. So what I'm looking at is three different types of heavy armor. So the next will be three medium, three lights. Now, this one, I'm kind of envisioning a fantasy sort of knight, sort of like a dark knight. So it's going to be sleek armor and a little jagged here and there. This one, I'm thinking more of a bulky set. And I, I just more or less draw these and see what I like and just let the paintbrush take where I'm going, the digital paintbrush. This one, I'll be honest with you, I think I'm looking more for a, um, a big like sword user, a great sword user sort of thing. So more like a barbarian. All right, so moving on to the mediums. This one is, well, it started out with the classic rogue look with the um, trench coat sort of thing, but I uh, eventually changed the trench coat to just a normal outfit and just had it to where they have a hood and scarf. But I went back to the trench coat for this one for a more barred look. It's uh, kind of rough. Still don't know what I like about it, if it's going to be a bard or something else. It looks more like it's a um, mage or something. Now this last one, go ahead and take a wild guess what it is, just based on the silhouette of what I'm focusing on. You see those big arms? It's going to be punching stuff, so more like a martial artist. Alright, so that's the mediums done. Go ahead and move those out of the way, and now for the lights. Now this one's going to be a little controversial because of a certain piece to it. Yeah, yeah, that piece. You see it. We all see it. This one's going to be more like a shaman, so it's a spellcasting, druidic thing. And why not have the classic mage with the long hat and long outfits, robes and such? I'm not drawing weapons for any of these except for the um, shaman for some reason. I felt like drawing his. And the last one, we're going to have to have to sort of like healer set, I guess, so it's... I was kind of envisioning a religious sect outfit and um, kind of made it a little bulky and blocky for some reason. And I didn't quite finish up with the hands. We'll touch up on that later, I guess, whenever I come to this character. Now, I plan on drawing multiple variants of the outfits. And uh, this is just to help me with a project that I'm going to be working on. I needed to do the concept art anyway, so I figured, why not do it here? So this is going to be one of the monsters in the thing that I'm going to be working on. It's a book, by the way. Um, not a very telling creature. Just a long serpentine tail. I didn't know if I was going to draw a dragon or what, so I just decided to go half and half and then make it more like insectoid or whatever. It's not really an arthropod, so I don't know what you'd classify that as. Anyway, we're going to give it a big gaping maw and some pincers and also, you know, scythes or whatever like a praying mantis i don't know if this would be a boss thing or just some really ugly grunt thing that they fight constantly but anyway moving on to the next one this one i was kind of envisioning body parts that are like floating so not traditional organs and such and i was trying to figure out what limbs i could give it if i wanted to have the limbs floating too kind of like rayman or if i actually want to give it limbs so i just decided let's go ahead and make it look kind of like a demon i guess with long horns that curve behind it long fingernails a tail the hooves you know the classic demonish sort of thing and lots of little details here and there those i don't know if i want them to be wings or if i want them to be pincers that come forward so they're either going to be behind it or in front of it. So I'll have to touch that up later. But, uh, go ahead and make it more fantasy-ish with the um, organs and such. This one, eh, I might scrap because it's a little iffy, to be quite honest. I was just trying to do a concept. And sometimes the concepts don't always work out the way you want. Sometimes you can't get what you want. And uh, it's a shame, but that's why you have multiple versions and you can just knock them out real fast. Now for the last one for this... It's going to be like a golem. I was envisioning some giant thing, either like an ogre or some other monstrous thing. And then I was like, eh, whatever. Let's just go ahead and make it a classic earth elemental with vines and plants and all that stuff coming out of it. 
and um, it's pretty easy to do. The um, thing will be more like a gorilla-like look to it, but with earth everywhere and trees and such growing out of it. It's honestly going to be one of the funner things to make just because of all the different variants that you can have with it, like having moss on it, Spanish moss, and just different types of fungi and just fun stuff like that. Anyway, that'll be it for now. I'm going to come back with another video that's going to be focusing around the first night that I do. Sorry, that I did. I do. Wow. The first night that I did, the Dark Knight sort of guy, and then I'm going to just move on down the chain. But, uh, yeah. Let me know what you think about this, because I might be doing them a lot more.